With that said, Uvalde CISD Superintendent Dr. Hal Harrell is in the studio with us this morning. Dr. Harrell, good morning. Good morning, Mario. Doing Thanks. a little mini Friday here. Mini Friday, yeah. You know, it leads into a good, good weekend. So, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll take it. Absolutely. How are things this morning? They are going very well. It's going to be a beautiful morning. It's a little chilly outside, so parents, put that coat on your young child. I had that problem with my daughter this morning. I told her, get the big jacket. She's like, no, I don't like the big jacket. You know what she told me? Because it misses up my hair. She's six. I was like, are you serious? I think she probably was. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. she was. Yeah, yeah. So no, it's been a good week. We've had another great week in person. uh, Opportunity still there and Toured some of the campuses yesterday, mm-hmm. and, you know, kids are smiling, teachers are smiling. Good. You know, that social interaction, we really got to have it. That it, social-emotional it, piece is really important for our kids. I bet it feels good to have them all on campus. It is. It good. is. You, you know, when they're not there, it's awfully quiet. When a yeah. kid gets there, they turn up the volume, which is just <laughs> nice. great and part of the reason I do what I do. Fantastic. Well, great. Yeah. Well, uh, what's going on with the district? Well, a couple of things I want to bring up. You know, last week when I was here, we talked about powerlifting. Mm-hmm. Uh, had our powerlifting meet, and we had some kids do very well. Three Lobos and a Coyote qualified for regionals. Congratulations They'll be moving to them. on. Yeah. But there'll be some events prior to that that they can hopefully have some more students qualify or athletes qualify. Okay. We also had a couple of students, Peyton Dotson and Ryder Torres. Uh, they participated in the Business Professionals of America competition and both re- uh, qualified for state. Okay. So their competition will be March 2nd and uh, through the 6th that week. So congratulations to both of them. If you see them, tell them congratulations and good luck and as they move forward. Congratulations, guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Another milestone we've hit from this senior class, and seniors are going to keep giving you a shout-out. You keep doing it. Uh, last week when I was here, mm-hmm. the scholarships were at $1.1 million. Uh, We are over $1.2 million this week. Great. So, uh, seniors, see Carol Brewer at the high school. Report what you've earned, what you've been awarded. Uh, no amount's too small, no amount's too great. It all adds yeah. up. And as I keep putting out there, I'm going to set that bar high. I'm going to challenge you to set that yeah. bar high for uh, classes to aspire to. You know, you you be the the captain of that ship, and you set that bar high. So, I well, good, very, good. Yeah, very very Glad good. Glad they have that opportunity. Absolutely. And you know, uh, dual language. We're still planning for uh, the dual language academy. Mm-hmm. It's coming up. Uh, the applications are online. We've had over 60 uh, applicants. Oh, that's already. good. Yeah. So that's it's good. It's, the kids that we currently have in it and 60 more and i anticipate it's going to continue so parents uh, sign your child up soon so we'll have a yeah. good idea of what to prepare for so that runs now through spring I believe. it does right? it does okay. it runs throughout the the spring semester so okay. uh the earlier we know the better, the better we know yeah. the better we can prepare absolutely well, well great and yeah. they can always go to the uh, district's website the district's which website, is uh, yes. ucisd.net i believe it correct? is okay. and uh you know there's this information and your campus information, Facebook right. page, uh, all of that. Get get in touch, get in tune, and uh, you know just keep up with our schools. Well, great, great. Yeah. And speaking of, uh, uh, well, let's move on. Uh, yeah. See, we got some guests in we the do. studio with us speaking this of morning. Our schools and all yeah. of our schools. We've got a school board recognition yeah. month, and I've brought uh, Master Chief Cal Lambert as well as uh, Elisa Gonzalez uh, All right. with me this morning. And I'm going to let Miss Elisa Gonzalez step up here first and <clears throat> introduce herself. All right, Miss Gonzalez. Elisa, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Mario. I'm good. I'm good, too. Well, uh, let's see here. So how long have you been with the school board now? Right. I'm starting my third year. Third year. Congratulations Thank on you. that. And uh, you recently uh, had... had um, you ran again this past year. And you, had, you were successful on that. Congratulations Thank on that you. as well. Thank you. Yeah, what's been going on over at the school board? Well, I mean, uh, I'm, uh, always top of the list is always, you know, mm-hmm. how to keep safe. So I'd like to share how important it is for everyone to do their part mm-hmm. in keeping our community and school community healthy. Um, we all know that our students thrive when they are on campus interacting with their teachers and peers. Right. So we want to continue to have our doors, our school doors open, but we really need the support of our community in practicing healthy and safe habits. Absolutely, especially now more than ever, right? Absolutely. I mean, you know, with everything that's been going on this past year and, you know, there's been uh, the, you know, uh, the whole transition over to virtual learning and right, in class, right. in person exactly. and all that. So, so we want to make sure they stay as healthy as possible. The, you know, 
you know, top subject. That yeah. We, you know, well, great. About. And do you uh, currently have any any children or any family in the district? So I have three that graduated. Mm-hmm. Um, I have one grandson. Okay. So, oh, yes, cool. He awesome. Is, he's in Morales Junior High. All right. <laughs> and what makes it rewarding serving as a board member? Oh, just giving back and yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I didn't have the time before. Now I do, so I enjoy great. it. It's absolutely. It's been great working with the. the we have a great group of people that work together very well. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you for coming out and visiting with us this Absolutely. morning, and thank you for thank what you, you do. Thank you for having me. All right. Master Chief uh, Cal Lambert is with us this morning. How are you, sir? Fine. How are you this morning? I'm doing well, thank you. And how, how are you been? Congratulations on your uh, election win as well. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Because this is uh, 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 something you had to go seek uh election for, and, and, and you know, it's a, it, you're voted in by the, by, the, by the public, by the community. Right. And yeah. I, I appreciate the opportunity to to serve uh, the school district and Mm -hmm. continue doing what I started doing many, many, many years ago, Mm -hmm. working with students and teachers. Yeah, because you're no stranger to the district because you worked with the district at one time. Yes, sir. I I came here in 1999 uh, and uh, taught the uh, ROTC program, and I retired in 2018. Okay, great. Talk to me about your experience uh, serving on the board. It's great. It's uh, different than I thought it'd be a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, it's more than, uh, it's certainly more than just a meeting once a month. Yeah. There's, there's const- work. <laughs> <laughs> Every day there seems to be something to read or review mm-hmm. or uh, there's training because we're required to do uh, so many uh, uh, continuing education training hours per year. There's always yeah. that going on. Uh, getting prepared for our meetings uh, as as we have them. So okay. it's uh, it's been busy. It's, what? And what can you share with us uh, n- n- now that you're on the board? Well, I, I wanted to run for the school board because it, it was several years cultivating. It wasn't something I decided the last minute. I was trying to figure out a way I, after I retired from teaching how to, how to serve uh, and still be involved in education. And Uvalde is, uh, is, is home to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, although I spent most of, half of my life in the Navy, I never lived anywhere more involved with them and what better way and Uvalde the community's been great to me the school district's been even better and uh, I thought it was just a good way to stay involved and and give back and do you have any any children or family in the district yes uh, my my daughter teaches at Batesville and uh, I have grandchildren here Right. Uh, from elementary all the way to senior in high school. Well, we look forward to hearing many great things uh, uh, in, in, in the months and the years to come from the district. So thank you guys again for what you do. All right, Dr. Harold, thank you again for taking the time to talk yeah. to us this morning yeah. as well. Just want to point out one thing. Uh, we've had six of our seven board members here throughout this month. Uh-huh. Javier Flores, um, board member, lives in Batesville. Yes. Was not able to come. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he, his job requirement, he mm-hmm. has to get up early and yeah. deliver the mail. So oh, okay. <laughs> all that's right. where he's at right now. Hopefully he's listening. Javier, well, we, we appreciate we all that you do. Good morning to him as well. Absolutely. And I, I'm very fortunate as superintendent to have seven uh, great board members that I get to work with and talk to and get guidance from and right. share ideas for our community, our kids, and our parents as we move forward. Yeah. And speaking of parents, we want to remind parents and uh, students there is no school tomorrow for the stock show holiday. Absolutely. So uh, if you're participating in the stock show, uh, whether you're a 4-H member or FFA member, good luck and do your very best. And uh, yeah, they got a represent full, well. full weekend ahead of them. They yeah, do. It started already at 6 o'clock this morning. Yes, so. that, that's and always a full, full weekend. So we'll say hello to them out there at the Evadi County Fairplex with the... Uh, I believe it's the 82nd annual or 86. I, I, I'm going to butcher that one. Sorry. I, but I uh, tell you. Yeah, it's been going on been for many, many years. Yes. It has been. All right. Well, thank you again, sir, thank for stopping you. by. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right. It's Coyote Country 104.9 FM, 740 